Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to do something that I think I've done for y'all a couple, two or three other times before. But this time I'm using a different um, piece of equipment. <laughs> I'm using my Ninja Foodie. And I'm going to show y'all how to boil eggs if you've got a Ninja Foodie and you haven't ever used the pressure part on it before I'm going to show you how to do that it's exactly like you would do an instant pot if you haven't had an instant pot just stay close and watch all right so here's my ninja foodie right here I've got some must have been something on it all right and so this is a ninja foodie here's the buttons down here I don't have it set my um camera so I can get down to it and so I'm going to go on and I've got like a cup of water it's really probably more like a cup and a half of water that I'm putting in my this is the pan for the pressure cooking and I've got a this I showed y'all this that had I had a giveaway with this and this is going to go down inside here all right, and it's nine eggs that I have in there. I'm going to put the pressure lid on here. All right. Well, go on here. There you go. Wait. Nope. Gotta go. Okay, there you go. Make sure that it's on sealing. All right, then I'm going to hit pressure down here. I'm going to go, it's on high. Let's see what it's on. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna use the 555 method. So I'm putting it on five minutes. I'm gonna push start. And then you can see the little, the um, lights going around or whatever, it'll, in ever how long it takes to get this up to pressure and then it will come start with the five and it'll count down and that way you can see let me see if I can zoom in some and get these yeah there you go all right so here's the pressure right here I push that then I, I knew I wanted it on high, so it automatically comes on high. And then here's the time, and I set the time for five minutes. Like I said, I'm going to do the 555 method. That means I'm going to let them cook on pressure for five minutes. Then I'm going to leave them sitting after they finish for five minutes. And then I'll take them out and put them in ice water for five minutes. So I will bring you back when we get ready to do the next step. Okay, y'all, the eggs have finished. I'm letting them um, come down from pressure for five minutes now. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of prepping this weekend. I'm gonna show y'all. I've got, well, probably be better if I zoom out on this. I've got, a pound of bacon here this is Oscar Mayer bacon I'm putting it in the uh, oven and then I've got another one that I'm gonna cook in the foodie this is what it is it's naturally hardwood smoked I'm going to like I said I'm gonna put this in the oven um, this is on the pan I've got aluminum foil on it and I've got my oven set for 400 degrees and I'm gonna see which one does the best, the, the Ninja Foodie or the oven. And so I will bring y'all back. Okay, I'm letting these, the eggs come down from pressure. You move it at, after five minutes, I moved it from seal to vent. There goes the little red um, thing, the button. So now I can take this off. You always want to make sure that you take your lid off away from you. All right. Now I've got a bowl over here. And I'm going to put these. Well, I don't even have to do that. Well, I do have to do that. But all I've got to do is just lift these. 
and sit this down. Let me just bring it over here and show you. Well, it's not going to go down in the water so much. I didn't get a big enough bowl. So I'm just going to take these out, put them in the ice water. All right. I'm going to let these sit for five minutes in this ice water. And then I will bring you back and show you how easy it is to make your eggs in your Ninja Foodie, your Instant Pot, um, one or the other of those. It's just, um, it's just way, way, way too easy. But I'll bring you back and show you. Okay, I'm back. All right, now I want to show you how easy it is. It's been five minutes. These have been sitting in ice water for five minutes. Now watch this. Look at this. It just, well, that was good. I just have to do the next one. Okay, so watch how easy it is to do this, y'all. Let me get you down here so you can see. Watch this. It just peels off just like that. One thing when you do them in your, in your um, Ninja Foodie or your Instant Pot. It's just so easy and so simple. And I'll show you again. I'll do another one so you can see. Watch. It just peels right off. And then I fix nine, and so I'll have nine eggs. Eggs last for a week. Uh, boiled eggs last for a week, so I'm happy about that. So I, I like eggs in my salad. So, all right, I'm going to um, bring you back. The next thing I'm going to do is some bacon in the Ninja Foodie. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of prepping today, so I will bring you back. Okay, y'all. Um, because it's lunchtime here and Ashley and I are hungry, I have decided to go on. I went on and put the bacon in on the same pan that I cooked the first pound of bacon with. I put the second pound on that pan and put it in the oven and I'm doing the bacon in the oven instead of doing it on the Ninja Foodie because I've got so much that I've got to do today. But I am fixing us. Right, hold on a second. Uh, I am fixing us some lunch. And I've got some of the bacon grease. I saved my bacon grease. I poured some in here for the eggs. I'm fixing Ashley and I bacon, egg, and tomato sandwiches for lunch. And I've got nine eggs that I've got to use. So whatever, um, whatever's left, I'll save for the kids. And when I pick up the kids today at 4.30, so... If they want a bacon and egg sandwich, they can have one. What, you know, whatever they want, I'm just, I'll save the eggs. And But anyway, I'm going to make bacon and egg sandwiches in here, and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, I fixed my eggs. I've got egg, bacon, here's tomato. I'm going to put tomato on my sandwich. I've got the bacon on there. I've got to put salt on there. All right, here I go. Don't fall. <laughs> All right, now I've got to cut my sandwich. This is going to be really crispy. All right, this is our lunch. So, 
This is just more prepping that I'm doing. I'm trying to get stuff um, cooked that is, that's in my refrigerator that I need to fix for the weekend. And now, uh, but I had to stop and fix us some lunch. And so we're having egg, bacon, and tomato sandwiches. And Ashley's eating hers. I'm going to go eat mine, and I'll bring you back in a little while.